Hello friends. Now in this topic, we are going to discuss how to read and understand line number on the PNID. So on the PNID, we have seen that various lines has been represented through the line number. Means every line have a different line number. So how we will identify the line number, how we will read the line number and what are the information we are going to get from the line number. So please keep in mind that for every project there are different line number philosophies. So for the different project, different philosophies will be used for the line number. But some informations are there which are common in all the uh, project. Like in the line number, there must be a line size. Line number, there must be a piping material specification. Line number, there must be information about the insulation of the line and the line legends. Means what the service line is carrying. These are the common information which are available in every project in the line number. So let us see how we are going to uh, understand and read the line number in this our, represent, uh, our presentation. So you can see here the line number, line identification has been shown with the different uh, topics. Like the first letter that is X inch is the line size. Here line are mentioned in the inch, in some project line are mentioned in the mm. So somewhere it will be in mm, somewhere it will be inch and it will be shown in the legend sheet of the project. So this is the uh, snaps of the legends of the PNID. So in the legend of the PNID, this information has been given for any particular project. If you are going to start with some new project and you don't know that what is the line philosophy has been used in this project. So for that purpose, you will have to refer the legend sheets and where in the legend sheets line identification has been shown. And from this line identification, you will be able to understand that what is the philosophies of the line number. So here the philosophy adopted is line size and it was in the inches. So it is written here the inches. Now next is line legend. So what is this line legend? So line legend means what is the service this line is carrying? It means in the in this line, inside this line, what is the process service are available? So for the line legend in any project, there are various lines and various process services are available. So line legends designation services are given also there in the uh, your uh, PNID uh, legend sheet. So this is also the legend sheet representation of the line legend. So here in the line legend written AI. Now this will be also different for the different project. But in the 90% cases these are the same. Because these line legends are also taken from the ISA standard. Which I will tell you about the ISA standard in our next session. So from the ISA standard only we follow the line legend designation service. So here the service we have mentioned AI. AI means instrument air. Means if it is written here suppose 4 inch AI it means there is a 4 inch line and AI is means instrument air is the service inside the line. If AP is mentioned that means the plant air. If VA is mentioned means vent atmosphere. VR means flare. Now if suppose similarly it is written NI, what does it mean? Means nitrogen is the service inside the line. Now NG, NG is the natural gas. So if it is mentioned that suppose 10 inch line and NG is written over here. So we will be understand that natural gas is flowing through this line. Similarly, this is the liquefied natural gas. For that we will use LNG. Chilled water for that we will use CHW. Glycol water we will use GW. Similarly, service water we will use WS, drinking water we will use DW. Similarly, rain water RW and water fire fighting WF. So these are the line designations and these line designations will be used on every line with the every line. And with this line designation, we will be able to understand that what is the line legends, uh, what is the uh, process fluid flowing inside this line. Now we come to the line number. So line number is the specific number provided by the piping team. So piping team will provide any line number for their identification that which number, uh, which is the, uh, what is the line number of this particular line. So we instrument guys need not to take care of this line number because this information is not going to help in any way to the instrumentation guys. Okay. Now the another information is pipe material specification. So this information is very, very crucial for us. For the piping material specification which is called PMS, what we will do, we are having a piping material specification 
sheet provided by the piping team so in the next video i will let you know that how to read the piping material specification but for this particular point of time at this point of time you will have to see that what is the piping material specification for this line means this line suppose this line is there so what is the material of this piping of this line so for that there is another legend available in the legend sheet that is called piping material specification and the base material is written over here also i will clarify over here that this piping material class coding is different for the different project in some project it will be something different in some project it will be something different so i will let you uh, understand the piping material specification and how to read the piping material specification in the next video but here you will just have to understand that suppose here in case of piping material specification if it is written a0jz what does it means means this piping material specification it will have a service like lng lni ng vr and ng these are the services which can be handled by this piping material class so this is the class by which these are the materials will be handled handled and what is the base material of this piping so the base material of the piping is ss stainless steel also you will see here that first letter of piping material class that is either a or either d or either e so you can see here in our presentation that first material class is first letter of the piping material class is either a or either e or either d so what is the significance of a e and d so if a is written there that means the class of the piping is 150 class means the class of the piping will be 150 rating if d is written it means the class of the piping is 600 rating and if e is written it means class of the piping is 900 rating it means if it is 900 rating so there is a very high pressure inside the pipeline so we will have to select the instrument also as per the piping class as high as the piping class is there we should have to select the instruments higher than that of that, uh, that of class suppose there is a d uh, mention over here it means there is a 600 class so we will have to select the material higher of that if it is 150 so we will have to select above that so this is the ma piping material specification available in uh, the pipeline size the next thing is insulation specification so in the pipeline there are various fluids are flowing so suppose sometimes what happens sometimes cold fluid are flowing sometimes hot fluids are flowing sometimes viscous fluids are flowing which are having a different properties if it will come in the contact of the atmosphere so its pro physical properties may change so to protect the physical properties to protect the material uh, uh, process uh, parameter we will have to do the insulation so suppose this is the lng pipeline in this uh, lng liquid is flowing so for the lng liquid whatever the insulation we will have to follow like if it is written c over here it means there, there is a cold insulation if it is p is written here it means personal protection if it is written h here that means this is the hot insulation and if it is n written that means this is the no insulation okay so these are the insulation class so again in summary i will just describe that what are the things we have discussed like how to read and understand the line number on the pn id so in this line number again and again i am repeating that this philosophy is not particularly for uh, fixed for the every project this philosophy may be changed for project to project whatever the philosophy we will have to follow there are some information which will be involved in the line number and we can get those information from the line number while we will see the legend sheet of the line number so these informations are available on the legend sheets of the pnid from there we can get those information what are the line legends designation service are available inside the line we can get from here whatever the piping material specifications mentioned over here and for each code there is a detailed piping material specification and based on this piping material specification our instruments material will be decided which i will just tell you in the next session that how to read the piping material specification and in last the insulation type that what is the insulation type on this pipeline it is mentioned here so with the help of this only legend sheet we will be able to understand and describe each in every pipeline nomenclature that's it so these are the details about how to read and understand the line number in pnid hope you have understand well all those these things whatever we have discussed in case of any clarification you may ask a question to us 
in question answer uh, section you will uh, reply your answer as soon as possible thank you